Hello everybody, John from Kaplan's Auction talking about his special August 27th auction at the historic Savage Mill. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very, very interesting end of summer sale. And what time is it? It is YouTube time, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. Let's take a look at what we have in store for Sunday, August 27th. Ladies and gentlemen, there's an awful lot of rugs in this sale. We'll take a look at these right here. Here's a beautiful runner, about a 10 foot runner, all handmade. And then here's a wonderful pair of runners. These are about 12 feet long. Okay, these are quite substantial. And there's a pair of them, wonderful. So again, let's look at our August 27th special sale that starts at 4.30 at the historic Savage Mill. And guys, there is a ton of art. A ton of art, a lot of mid-century art. And here is just a sample. So let's go into the main gallery and see what's in store for our Sunday, August 27th sale. Again, much, much art, and again, a lot of rugs. We'll just pan around. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, you can always go to still photos at kaplans.com. They're posted there, and you can take a look, better look at some of this art. Or of course, you can always hit pause. Now here is one of the most interesting things in the sale, and this is amazing. This is the original poster for the first concert in 1967 from Meriwether Post Pavilion. Amazing how it survived all this time. There's actually a little bit of a mid-century paper in the sale, as you'll see. Of course, here's uh, one of the most interesting pieces. This is a Roy Lichtenstein. Roy Lichtenstein signed piece right here. Signed and numbered in the, on the back, on the front right. Brush strokes, brush strokes, quite a nice, unframed piece of mid-century art. Of course, lots of furniture and a lot of mid-century furniture. Here's a beautiful olive wood table. These are signed Milo Brogman. And here's a wonderful sideboard indeed. And of course, great uh, pierced lamp there and a nice modern sculptor piece, sculpted piece. And of course, more mid-century items. A lot of lampage in the sale, a lot of lampage in the sale. And of course, it's not all mid-century. There are some also uh, 19 uh, antiques, 1940s and earlier Victorian furniture. There's a nice oil painting there. As we pan around. Primitives as well. And of course, more art. Here's an interesting, nice corner piece for the corner of your home or desk or office. And here is a beautiful, beautiful carved Victorian stained glass cabinet. Absolutely fabulous. Rugs, of course, guys. Lots of rugs. Here's a nice Bokhara. And here's a wonderful day bed, Danish day bed. And that's beautiful. Again, more rugs. This is Rug City. A lot of rugs in this sale. Look at this beautiful rug here. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the colors in that. Really fabulous. And of course, more mid-century furniture and rugs. Here's another interesting Danish day bed and a nice set of George Nelson for Herman Miller tables. George Nelson for Herman Miller tables. We'll flip over the side and we'll just show you the label right there. Sorry, those are Eames tables. My bad. These are Eames tables. We do have some George Nelson pieces, but these are Eames tables for human Mil Herman Miller. And of course, more rugs as well. More mid-century, more mid-century here. Look at this rug if you can. Fabulous rug, more mid-century. Look at this beautiful rug. We'll show you the detail on this rug. Now guys, this is how you can tell a good rug from bad. You flip over the other side and the, the reverse side where they show you the handmade is almost as beautiful as the front side. You can see the pattern. That is just a fabulous rug. And here's a, a nice collection of smaller mid-century type tables. Clocks in this sale. Here's a beautiful Seth Thomas clock. And here's a beautiful mahogany 
dining room set, and of course another rug. Look at this rug. This is room size here. Look at the detail on that. Got another clock, a very large mirror. Somebody's looking for a large mirror, and another beautiful walnut case clock. More mid-century, more mid-century. There's a beautiful uh, torch here. There's about four or five of those, and of course a wonderful rocker. As we pan around, more rugs. There's a good runner. A lot of scatter rugs here. Wonderful coffee table. Look at this beautiful mid-century coffee table and get a load of this mid-century sofa clean as a whistle. Again, and here's our other our large rug there. Let's just pan around back there. You can see just filled with beautiful things. Gentlemen, ladies, not only is there beautiful mid-century furniture, but there's also a lot of mid-century smalls, which everyone knows are very difficult to get high-quality mid-century smalls, but here they are. We've got quite a bit, actually. As we pan through. Oh, this is certainly an interesting piece. This is George Nelson for Sherman Miller. That's a clock. <laughs> Look at the colors in that. Fabulous. Cane collection. We do have a nice collection of canes. Beautiful carvings on these canes. Pottery, we've got pottery. And uh, we also have this wonderful Franklin Mint portfolio of Western art. This is just filled. Let's open her up. This is just filled with art pieces. Just to take a look in there. Just filled with page after page after page of these wonderful large Western art pieces. There's military in the sale. Lots of military in the sale, including swords. We've got Japanese swords, and we have a sword purportedly out of a Confederate from a Confederate soldier over uh, in South Carolina. Um, we do have um, more military. This is a beautiful a Mossberg single gauge shotgun. And beautiful pocket watches. We can't explain enough how beautiful these pocket watches. They're hard to gauge unless you see them in person. And more coinage and currency. And here is a beautiful pocket watch. Little glare there, but that is just a beautiful pocket watch. And a nice sterling silver handle. Again, more smalls. Nice heron pottery. Beautiful box there. Again, you can always go to our website at capitals.com to see some of these still photos, but this is for Sunday, August 27th. Our doors open at noon. Of course, you can come anytime throughout the sale. It should be about a three-hour sale. It's a long sale. There's a lot to be sold and a lot of very interesting things. The weather should be nice. Whoops. That one was cracked. Um, so, again, more mid-century as we'll pan down our mid-century aisle. Look at these fabulous. There's, again, another George Nielsen for Herman Miller. And here's that interesting clock that I showed you in the beginning. Signed art. There's signed mid-century art. Here's a, I happen to, happen to like this one particularly well. And then here is a mid-century bronze. This is heavy, heavy bronze of Moses. Mid-century design on a teak base. Again, more Herman Miller furniture and more mid-century art. Again, as I said, there's lots of these Torshear lamps. Lots of these Torshear lamps. Some more mid-century furniture. Some more art. This is interesting. This is stacking Stacking case, cases right there, mid-century. And another, another wonderful piece of mid-century art there. There is your signature right there. 
And we have been blessed today with some special visitors in honor of the mid-century. As you know, the famous uh, Pixar symbol is a mid-century lamp. Is a mid-century lamp. It's the famous Pixar Disney Studios. And so our friends, the Minions, have come by to say hello, to announce the August 27th sale. Hello, Badat. Good to see you, gentlemen. And there's your Pixar lamp. So ladies and gentlemen, this is John from Kaplan's Auction and our Minions wishing you a good day.